What's up my friends? Welcome back to EcoBoost. I hope you're well. My name's Kate Arnell. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Consider subscribing, but if you want to watch this video first before you commit, I totally get that. No pressure. Sit back, relax, enjoy. If you have already subscribed, go you. Loving your work. Spread the word. Spread it. It's cold outside, so I thought I'd justify staying in by doing some filming, and I thought why not do a little favourites video, because I watch them a lot on other people's channels, I really enjoy them, and I thought, well, it'd be nice to share some of the things I'm digging at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a little favourites video. It's exciting. I'll put all the links to everything I mention in the description box below. You're so welcome. So I'm going to kick off with this jumper that I'm wearing. Let's see if I can show you. I got it yesterday and I'm very much enjoying it. I have actually spilt coffee on the bottom of it. Um, I went out and had a little accident but it's fine I've managed to wash off most of it don't panic so yesterday I went to Hampstead to a collaborative pop-up um, shop which is called a Lux story and that is where I found Ile de Coco which is the brand of this jumper it's a knitwear brand that uses really high quality kind of cashmere and wool this is 100% merino wool and they're all ethically made and they are just cool like they're the sort of jumpers and knitwear and accessories that you just really want to wear i really liked the caption key what and i really like the color too like i don't see a lot of this kind of soft gray color and i'm digging gray so yeah i was really pleased with that and actually if you are based in london and fancy popping along to their pop-up um then it's running until the 9th of october so that's my first favorite guys up next is this organic facial serum by pink's boutique oh yeah these guys got in touch with me on instagram after they found out that i was involved with organic september so they asked if they could send me a product and i had a little look on their website and chose this one because it comes in glass and it's a little pipette if you've watched my organic beauty haul video then you'll know i'm kind of digging pipettes right now and these guys are certified by the Soil Association which I've just become an ambassador for I'm totally pumped about that so um yeah super super chuffed so these guys are really proud to have that certification they posted on social media like why it's so important to them and they seem to really like care about their ingredients they're made in England this one contains 99% organic ingredients and is 100% natural so this came through the post the other day and I've already gone through quite a bit of it. It's really nice. It smells really wonderfully soothing. It's so nice and the texture actually is lovely. So I'm really enjoying that at the moment. Up next, it's my homemade ginger beer. Yes, I've made my own ginger beer. I'm very excited about it and it tastes delicious. I got the recipe from zerowastechef.com. It's a really great blog with so many awesome recipes on there. And then when she put the recipe up for this one the other day, I was like, I'm gonna try that. Um, and it's delicious. So yay, very, very happy with that. All you really need is sugar, organic ginger, and water, and thyme. So it takes about five days to make the ginger bug. And then once that's made, it takes about probably three or four days for this to start doing its thing. Um, but yeah, it's delicious and I'd highly recommend it. You do have to remember to burp your bottles, which is quite a fun experience. <laughs> I quite like it. I'll put a link to the recipe down below. I also ran out of larger bottles to put it in, so I've put some of it into these little bottles, which I brought back with me from our holiday in Crete. So we found this awesome organic beer uh, called Brinks, and I really liked the swing top bottle that it came in. I thought, oh, I can reuse that. So I've put some of my homemade ginger beer in these little bottles as well, which is kind of cute. This is an alcohol-free organic beer. Yay! I don't really drink alcohol. I've never really been into the idea of getting drunk and I love the taste of beer. I know it's a bit strange, but I just love the taste of beer. So last year I really got into alcohol-free beers when we were on our honeymoon in California. They were quite popular there. I think because everyone drives so much, you kind of need an alcohol-free option. At the moment, it's kind of hard to find an alcohol-free beer in a refill option. Uh, although I do want to start buying some beer in growlers and I know I can sort of, I think I can handle around 3% without feeling the effects. I think that's kind of where I'm at. And I discovered a couple of places this week in London where I can take a refillable growler and they do have around 3% beers available. So I'm gonna give that a go too, but this is something that I'm very much enjoying. Absolutely delighted that they had it in stock this week. Hooray! Up next is chocolate. This is called Blanks Art and I'm obsessed with this. 
It's so good. Honestly, it's one of the nicest chocolates I've ever had. I really love that it only has four ingredients, which are <clears throat> cocoa, cocoa butter, sugar, and vanilla. They're all organic and there's no weird like soy lecithin in there or anything else that you might not recognize or that seems a bit of an odd ingredient in chocolate. And I really like that the packaging is very sort of minimalistic. It's just a brown paper which can be easily recycled and inside it's just foil which again you can recycle. So it's not the kind of foil coated plastic, it's just regular old foil. And I don't need to eat a huge amount of this to kind of get that chocolate hit. I can just enjoy like a corner of it and it's so good. I bought this today and it was on offer at Whole Foods. They had 20% off, which I kind of went in to buy this anyway and it was just a bonus that it happened to have 20% off. So I bought several bars, but yeah, very much enjoying that. They do um, other percentages as well. This one's 82%, which is what is my favorite, I think. And it just, just really hits the spot. Yeah. Up next, it's the bread bag from Sin Plastico. I ordered some dental floss refills from these guys recently and I also gave them a little shout out in uh, my personal care favorites video and I think they actually got quite a few people buying some dental floss refills from them. So as a little thank you, I think, they sent me um, this as part of my order. So that was a really nice surprise and I have used it a couple of times already. And that's why it's really crinkled because I've washed it a few times. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice little cloth bag. I've always got room for a cloth bag or two of my life. So thanks Simplastico, loving your work. Um, what a nice surprise. My next item probably isn't featured in many favorites videos. But <laughs> it's featuring in mine. It's a jar of organic gherkins, which are naturally fermented. You didn't see that one coming, did you? I really like fermented foods. They're said to be incredibly good for you, etc. But genuinely, I just really like the taste. I think I've got a sort of palate that leans slightly more towards the sour side of things. So things like sauerkraut, kimchi, they actually make me salivate thinking about them. So these are something I've discovered recently. I'd love to try and make my own in the very near future, but in the meantime, I'm buying these ones. It's just organic gherkins, filtered water, unrefined rock salt, organic dill, organic garlic, organic horseradish, and cherry leaves. I think I'm gonna have to have one. That's what they look like, they're so cute. Uh, um, they taste amazing. Mm, so good. So I quite like adding those into like sandwiches or, I mean, I'll be honest, I'll just sit and eat them from the drawer. This book, The One Straw Revolution, is a book that I just finished reading and I really enjoyed it. I kind of stumbled upon it in the first place. I went to the bookshop to pick up a book for my husband, I think, that he'd ordered. Um, and whilst I was there, I thought, well, I'll browse the sort of food section. Um, and The One Straw Revolution was just sitting there on the shelf, caught my eye. And it's by a guy called, oh, Masanobu Fukuoka. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have tried to pronounce that. So the guy who wrote this was originally a scientist and he sort of had a, an epiphany moment and he ended up on his father's farm where he had just really took things back to basics and has a real understanding of very much working with nature. And it's a really interesting book. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it and I read it really quickly, which is usually um, an indication that it's it's very readable. <laughs> like folded down a whole bunch of pages, it's like, oh, must remember that, oh, that's a really interesting point. Very thought provoking, very relevant and just, yeah, really enjoyable to read. Up next, it's another food item, guys. It's Damson Jam, oh yeah, from Dalesford. Um, I didn't really know what damsons were about a year ago, but they're sort of plum-like, essentially. This is their organic spiced damson jam. It's delicious. It just tastes like Christmas in a jar, and I like having it on toast. I really like mince pies, and it has a sort of mince pie-like flavor to it. Uh, this next item is pretty heavy. Um, this is a bag of porridge oats. My arm's actually shaking holding that up. Oh, what if I rest it on my shoulder? How about that? This is a bag of porridge oats by Pim Hill, and I love that they come in a five kilo bag, which is paper. So there's no plastic in this. It's got a little bit of string, which is the only thing that fastens it, and a couple of handles. So if I didn't have anywhere near me that sold organic porridge oats in bulk, then this is a great option, um, especially if you live in the UK, you can just order it online and it turns up in a box without any plastic. It was just like brown paper tape that they used to stick it down. 
It says made in the UK. I'm very fortunate that I have the dry goods store, which is where I normally go and get organic projects from. And there are a couple of other places in London as well. Um, but recently I couldn't get out of the house. Like I was being lazy, let's be honest. Recently I was being lazy. And so I ordered these online. I did originally discover them in a branch of Whole Foods in Richmond that sort of randomly had a couple of these bags. So yeah, it's five kilos of porridge oats, which should last a while. So we went on holiday to Crete uh, a couple of weeks ago and I mean Crete is great. I'm going to write a blog post about some of the awesome places that we discovered. There's so much like organic food that we found and it was such a sort of generous country um, and the people were lovely. And we stopped off for lunch at quite a random place. Uh, that we'd read about online. The menu at this place was great. It was mostly stuff that she had kind of caught herself or foraged herself or grown herself. Um, and just as we were leaving, she kind of ran up and gave us some mountain tea, which I noticed was quite a popular thing in Crete. So good. It is kind of a wonderful blend of what I think, I'm not 100% sure, but this is from my Sherlocking skills. Sage, chamomile, there's some sort of mintiness in there, but it's very mild and it's delicious. This is my organic pillow. I was given this by Natural Mat, who are a UK sort of organic mattress company, but they also do things like bed sheets and pillows and stuff. And they're brilliant. I first discovered them when I needed to buy a camp bed. We were going camping and I wanted to find a really like comfortable, camp bed that had natural and organic materials and I discovered their camp bed which doubles up as a mattress topper so I currently use it as a mattress topper it's just a dream to sleep on no pun intended but kind of intended it uses like off cuts of uh, denim so it's like recycled denim and they use organic wool inside as well it's just so nice to sleep on so that's how I found out about Natural Nat. And then I went to a breakfast in bed event that they held a few months ago and they very sweetly gave me this pillow. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm really into this pillow. These guys are based down in Devon and this pillow is actually filled with wool from a sheep in Devon. Um, wool's supposed to be really incredible to sleep on. Natural Mat actually make uh, some incredible mattresses which use organic uh, wool, um, natural latex, Coir from coconuts. So I went on a little tour of their mattress factory and learned a little bit more about it. I'm going to put up a vlog soon where I show a little bit of that factory tour. And it was just really interesting because when you think about it, we sleep on our beds like most of the year. It's something that I kind of think is worth investing in, a really great quality mattress. What I also like is that you can send your mattress back when it's kind of come to the end of its life, which is usually like after eight years or something and you can have it refurbished. So they'll patch it up, restuff it, and it's basically a great way of not having to buy a new mattress every time. Something that you can sort of invest in and then just sort of maintain, which I really liked. Also, they're gonna start selling their mattresses in like returnable zip cloth bags. At the moment, I think they use a plastic which is recyclable, but they're very aware that they want to have a positive effect on the environment, so you will have it arrive at your door, the guys will unzip it from its cloth bag, and then they'll take that away with them, and you don't have any packaging to deal with when you've got your new mattress. How great is that? I'm really, really enjoying this pillow, guys. And my final favorite for this video, my smudging stick. So these are my smudging sticks. You might have noticed them sort of sitting the, there in the background on most of my videos. Uh, they're by a brand called Juniper Ridge, which I really like. I like to just light these and then let the smoke kind of drift up and it just fills the room with a really enjoyable, soothing scent. So this one is white sage. I've got a few other ones back there. I can't remember what they all are. Normally shops that sell like crystals and things like that, you can usually find some smudging sticks in and it just smells lovely it's a very sort of relaxing smell and i've got a bunch of their sweet grass as well which is really really amazing it smells to me like sort of a summer's evening uh in the wilderness it's so nice some people do actually like say an affirmation or something when using these just something like positive and good vibes and all that uh, i don't always do that normally i just like to light these and let the smoke sort of drift up and lightly scent the room that is my smudge stick so there you go guys those are some of my favourites. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a little thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. I'll put the little button just there. Um, no pressure, but it really does mean the world to me.
to say.